Hello. <laughs> Hoping everything is going okay. Feels It feels weird getting back into the swing of things here, but hello. Uh, hello, Strawberry. Welcome back. How are you doing today? Thank you. I'm very excited about all the new stuff. And hello, Saifi. And hello. Oh my gosh, I'm going to say it wrong again. And you explained it so many times to me yesterday. Ponyo? Pionio. Pionio? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This shirt is from high school. Uh, shout out to High School Fashion Sense. Apparently, we were unbuttoning it. Uh, yeah, I feel kind of cute today. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Trying to wear my glasses because I keep walking around my house without them and realizing that my eyesight is just getting worse. It's, it's only going downhill from here. So I'm like, I really need to just actually wear my glasses. And I think I post it everywhere. It's so weird. I finally slept the amount that I was supposed to last night. Like I got a good night's sleep and I've just had a headache all day. And I'm like, <laughs> what? what is up with that? Hello, evil cat robot. Yes, I'm playing Nancy Drew. I'm yeah, I've never played Secret of the Old Clock, so I'm pretty excited. I watched a playthrough of it forever ago when I was a lot younger, but I think it's been more than long enough for me to forget most of the plot and everything. So <laughs> I'm hoping it'll kind of be like me going in blind. Pretty good! Revising for exams right now. Oh, best of luck with that. You can do it, gambate. I know, the universe, it, it feels like super weird vibes right now. Like, the move has been, you know, good. And I'm really afraid. Like, I don't think I'm getting my deposit from my last place back, but I'm really afraid they're going to contact me and be like, you severely damaged the property. Because, to be frank, I did, not severely, but I did do some damage that I tried to repair, but it's quite obvious because the paint color doesn't match um but at least a, a repair was attempted so i'm definitely afraid they're gonna be like give us money and i'm gonna be like no <laughs> please <laughs> thank you yes of course school is important we stan education i think you'll have a good time i played it more times than i can count oh it's just as well. yay well i'm hoping if if you're able to stick around that you uh can maybe help me out if i get confused <laughs> please. <laughs> Hello, Jen. How are you doing? How are things going? Yeah, I know. That's why I keep reminding myself, like, people can do far worse damage. I just, like, sc scraped up playing. Because command strips, man, half the time command strips are, like, the best things ever. Other half of the time, they always pull up <laughs> the paint. And then I got these mirrors, these small square mirrors, and the adhesive on them. All the reviews on Amazon were either, this is great, or the adhesive is too weak, these fall off. And I was like, perfect if the weak if the adhesive is weak i don't have to worry about like it peeling out the paint they'll just eventually all fall off hypothetically and then i just won't have a mirror and that like i was so convinced it would all be fine the adhesive was not weak it was so strong i had to spray so much goo gone on the wall to try to dissolve it and like peel it up because i used so many of the stickers on the mirrors too because i was like i don't want them to fall <sighs> So, so then I got like wall repair stuff. Actually, I really liked using the wall repair stuff too. It kind of makes me go like, okay, I know if I have the situation happen in the future, I feel very prepared. It's It looks like pink icing and it smelled good. And I was like, this is great. I'm just gonna, gonna put some putty on wall, live the dream. Um, I have my class of 2019 mug. Isn't this a font? Wasn't this a font choice? Got some tea today feel very cozy. I was going to make a coffee, but I've already had coffee today. And I'm like, uh, eh, you know, so, mm, probably don't need it. I know. I <laughs> I was like, this is truly the forbidden frosting. Oh, I should start my TikTok thing. Live Mary starts up. I knew there was something I was forgetting. It was the TikTok stream. It's so funny because during Psyche stream, I was like, you should set it all up. <laughs> Does not <laughs> do it herself. Do as I say, not as I do. I feel like that's everything in my life could just be a like, do as I say, not as I do situation. Oh, it's going in front of my monitor. Oh, goodness. I don't think I have my... Oh, I have no music going in the background. How uncomfortable. How intimate this moment. Hello, Rain. Thank you for the lurk. Your dogs are so beautiful. Every time I see them, Rain has the most beautiful dogs. Syphy, if I... <laughs> If I could go back to school, I think I would so much enjoy being a librarian. Like, that's 
not gonna lie, I like comment I've received a few times that like I have librarian vibes or I have like elementary school teacher vibes and it makes me want to go back to school so bad. <laughs> Honestly, if there's anyone out there that actually does as they say, I don't know if I can trust <laughs> anyone that can like manage that level of commitment of like doing what they're supposed to do. Stuff like wallpaper paste and stuff, is that forbidden frosting? Yes! Except at least with broken glass, you can make like the hard candy that shatters, right? So at least there's an option for that. Well, I guess icing is the option for the wall putty. I should just make icing. I have icing sugar, I think. <laughs> I I love these glasses. I just need to wear them more. I, just, I don't like how they fit on my nose because I have a, a wider nose bridge and most glasses aren't made for that. Thank you. Oh, you know what? This is my daily mix. This isn't actually Harris Hiller. Um, so I use Spotify for all my like background music and it skews my Spotify music stats. It makes it think I really like lo-fi beats to listen to in casual times, which like, fair, <laughs> fair enough. Yeah, I'm not against it, but <laughs> it's not my like go-to. <laughs> All right, what should we name the TikTok? Nancy Drew, Nancy Drew. Before lockdown, I used to volunteer at my school library. It's not fun, no. Were you just like putting away a lot of books? I imagine a lot of people being jerks, but libraries are such good resources for stuff, right? Dude, I wonder if I can use my like childhood library account here if I'll, if I'll have to make a new one. I remember the day that I got my library stuff sorted in the old city I lived in and I felt so proud of myself. I was like, here I am going to the public library, listening to NPR. This is an adult. <laughs> uh, and then I went like twice and forgot to return my books and got really embarrassed about it. And that's my life. <laughs> All right, let's just do that and do that. Okay, well, uh, let's play some Nancy Drew. Now that I have my music set up, I can uh, turn it off. <laughs> And hopefully the sound is all good. So the thing with this game is it's like really, uh, it's the fun thing with older games that the way I have it set up so it's windowed so I can like easily see the chat, it's this tiny little screen in the corner of my monitor. So if I'm looking like really specific right there, that's why uh, we can hop over. Had to deal with year sevens trying to check out books above their age range. No, do not attempt to tell year seven they cannot check out Jimmy Vampire. The cinematic master, not cinema, actually, was that, Jimmy Vampire was an anime too, right? There's an app called Libby or something where you can connect to your library card and get unlimited audiobooks. I need to use that. What? Oh, okay. I'm trying to see. No, my camera's okay. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, because I want to stop using Audible because I don't like Amazon. As much as I like Amazon Prime for quick stuff, I don't like the company. I still have some library books from middle and high school and I'll never show back up with them because I'm pretty sure they don't know who has them and I ain't about <laughs> As long as you didn't check them out. Because see, the I hardly checked out books in high school, but the one time I did, I like never returned it and I almost didn't get to walk at graduation because I had an overdue book. So it's a really serious thing. Um, okay, ooh, is this very loud? <laughs> it might be okay, actually. It's so hard for me to tell. Um, I'm hoping that that's all okay. I'll give, I'll sip some tea. I'll give it a second. So this is Nancy Drew, Secret of the Old Clock. This is one of the few games that I believe is directly based off of one of the books, which is kind of fun. I don't think any of the other games are. Ooh, let's fog up my glasses. Isn't that exciting? Look. Okay. Speaking of books, I spent all my money on all the volumes of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. What a good series. The movie, that, the editing in that movie, I go to it time and time again Welcome as like my latest case, the a fantastic of the example clock. of great Just editing. Start, choose junior or senior detective. I also if recently made my mom watch it. Need some help, click on <laughs> and she enjoyed it too, which is like, okay, it can, it can be a good movie. I made Callie watch it with me too. I've just been on a, a Scott Pilgrim roll lately because they recently released the Brie Larson version of um, the song that she sings in it. What is it called? I don't remember what it's called, uh, but so good, so good. Brie Larson's a really talented singer. I never like expected that. Spent too much money on fabric this week, so no books for me. Oh no. Okay, wait. Oh man, I don't know how I have 
that might think we checked them out in class. Oh no. Hello. Give me the books. Uh, it's such a good, it's such a good movie. The editing's the so funny. The year 1930. Okay. The place, the road to Titusville, where we find Nancy Drew behind the wheel of her blue the road roadster, to Titusville. pondering this question. <laughs> Hello, Zeke. Why did Emily Hello. Crandall, a girl whom Nancy knows only through Watchy, their mutual friend, so Helen Corning, ask Nancy to drive all the way out to the Lilac Inn to see her? Does it have something to do with the fact that Emily's mother died barely a month earlier? Leaving I love the accent, the trans transatlantic accent. Is that what it's called? Why, when she called, did Emily, Emily sound, sound so, so desperate? <laughs> the spunky teenager turns off the main road, blissfully unaware that Emily isn't all that awaits her at the end of the driveway. No, Nancy Drew is about to get her first taste of the mystery, intrigue, and adventure that are to become her destiny. So if you didn't notice, this one takes place in the past, so Nancy is like back in. I am using the stream elements bot right now. Is it weird right now? We can find out. <laughs> yeah, okay. It sh yeah, that is what I'm using. Oh, I forgot to fix all the things I meant to fix. I'm so bad. I need to start like taking notes when I stream so I remember to go in and do all the things. I got and en the Adams Ramona flowers. <laughs> We stan the beautiful ladies of Scott Pilgrim. Also, this makes me want to go on a little vacation. I want to go to the Lilac Inn. Look at a stained glass. I was gonna say you should add a tweet command. Yeah, I did. I did a while ago. Actually, that's the reason I got the stream element spot because I saw you did those for your streams. And I was like, that's such a smart idea. And it took me seven years to figure out how to do it because you can like only do it with stream elements. <laughs> well, not only, but you can't do it with a... Uh... Stream lab, well, so I was like, hello, how do I do it? My boomers, <laughs> you're Nancy Drew. But the amount of post-it notes I got on my desk. I know, I I usually do have post-it notes. I got rid of a lot of them when I moved, though. All right, she's the bad guy. Um, That's right. Are you Emily's guardian? <laughs> she? You got it. I'm Jane Willoughby. Jane I'm Willoughby. Guardian. I like this for the next three very months until she turns 18. Then she's on her own. Ooh. Mmm, it smells like someone's pie. been baking I've pies. Pie pies someone. are the lilac in specialty. We get orders from all over. Oh, that reminds me your father called. You're supposed to call him. You can use the coin phone on the porch. Oh my god, a pay Emily phone. didn't say anything about you coming until just this morning. Bam. Is it okay that I'm here? Please leave Don't the get premise, me wrong. lady. She can invite anybody here she wants. It's just that she's gotten so darn forgetful lately. It's a carbon monoxide leak. Is, she is that what it's right? called? See a carbon monoxide? Well, no, that's hard to say. That's she like one of my biggest mom, fears that sure. that'll happen to so me. So do I. Glory is there'll be a carbon me. monoxide leak? We friends, you know? <laughs> just forget Between us things. Ran this like... little dress shop over in Capital City. Aww. But then she got hitched and I didn't. And the next thing I know, Thank she's you for the lurk sage. Saying, also, hi, Sage. I don't know if I said hi earlier. Take care of her little girl. Should something ever happen to her? Aww. Father? Emily's father died in the war. Cantigny, I think. Anyway, war. I couldn't say no. I mean, what are best friends for? I just wish I knew how to help Emily. Her eyebrows are so thin. <laughs> Once you get comfy with OBS, I think it's good to move. Yeah, I'm going to try. I don't think I'm using anything with Streamlabs right now, actually. I'll have to double check. I need to fix that lurk. <laughs> you make it sound like good. she's in some kind of trouble. <laughs> she is she's no more. She's been acting so... Look, go talk to her. She probably just needs to spend some time with a bear cat like you instead of some dumb Dora like me. I'm a go on bear up. She's cat. In the just make like a boy that scout is... and be prepared. Okay, <laughs> two points. Bear cat, absolutely my identity in life. Uh, second point, make like a bear scout and be <laughs> like a bear scout, boy scout, and be prepared. Iconic, absolutely. <laughs> she she does look kind of scary. I'm I'm glad that very thin brows aren't aren't you know the trend anymore. I I had them for a while. I do think they they just make you look scary. But maybe that's just the thing. Replace it with dollar sign user. Ooh, okay. Can I do that now? No, I I just don't have the brain capacity. <laughs> I will do that at some point in the future. Okay, upstairs. I have thin brows, PTSD. Uh, yep, same. Yep, freshman year of college. Purple dress woman looks like your nan. Oh, she's in the game. She hacked in strawberry. She's like, have you been studying? Oh, is this the room? The first guest? First guest? Shoes on the floor. Do, do, I like this music. Okay. 
Friend? Nancy, Friend? hi. Welcome to the Lilac Inn. Oh, and before Is I she forget, just in her pajamas? Thank you for that nice note you sent me. I want to get like a, a bougie a nightgown that I can dramatically wear. Like with a robe. Dramatically walk through the hollowed halls of my apartment. Well, I lost my mom too. Years it's not really ago. halls. It's more just like a set of stairs. You and I may not be best friends or anything, but you're still one of the nicest people I know. Aww, Nancy is very well, nice. Well, thank you. That's why I'm hoping you'll do me a favor, a big favor. You and your dad. My lawyer dad lawsuit lawsuit. What kind of favor? What kind of favor? Suing. Shh. What's wrong? I thought I heard something. Your father has a safe, right? Do not mind me just doing this. It's very casual. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Shaimi. <laughs> this is 1930. Lots of people have safes. See I'm on my fourth jewelry? mysteriously dead husband. Or exactly. Safe. It's beautiful. What have I done? It was my mother's. The few times I saw her wear it, nice. she looked just like a movie star. I was hiding it here in my room, but all things considered, I'd feel a lot better if you would just take it home and have your father lock it up in his safe. So it's jewelry that's the concern? This game is gonna be classic Barbie movie. Yeah! Very same, like, animation kind of vibes. What do you mean, all things considered? Strange things have been going on around here. That's all I can say. Mesh type with the puppy curls. And Jane probably told the drama. You that I've been Absolutely. Of oh, cuffs. Please I can't do read. This for me. <laughs> what was that? What? <laughs> Emily, come downstairs quick. The kitchen's on fire. Come on. We better get out of here. Nancy, what have you done? <laughs> Horrible, just horrible. And I the lost the game. The stove was completely destroyed, and there's oh smoke God. damage everywhere. The inn will have to shut down for months, maybe even for good. I don't like that for good statement. We love an arson loving queen. <laughs> what a start to the I love the games that start with, like, it's casual, we're meeting a friend, someone dies, explosion. <laughs> Does he know what Arson. caused the explosion? It looked to him like one of the burners on the stove had been left on. Oh, it'll the flame do it. either went out or was never lit, but anyway, Gas leak. something made a spark. Carbon monoxide leak. He said insurance companies saying. are very reluctant to pay out when things look hinky. And that's when times are good. That's true. We do hate insurance Who companies. Was in the Actually, oh my god, morning. I don't have insurance right now. Emily was my the apartment. last person I used the stove. Maybe I should set like that I up. Said, She's been Maybe real forgetful contact lately. My insurance. I think she's pretty <laughs> upset, but it's not her fault. What with her mom yeah, passing absolutely away no barely chill. a month ago, and me <laughs> showing up, drama. this total stranger who doesn't know the first thing about kids or running a restaurant, and her trying to do everything all by herself. I it's really just don't like much, this lady. She oh, actually seems sus. I get that she's the only character I've met so I far, thus, like... The line to the regular yeah, phone got right? burned up in the For fire. Good. So like, now the only phone we got is the coin on the porch. She has motivations. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Delta Wolf. You are <laughs> not the first person to say that today. Hello. Also, hello, Chloe. How are you doing? Happy Saturday, everybody. My Indoor mother's Sunday. jewelry. It's gone. Someone must have stolen it while we were all downstairs. I knew something like this was going to happen. I just knew it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so if you're just joining us, there was just an explosion. During said explosion, the jewelry was stolen. Oh no, when people say sus, I always think, sussy fuck. <laughs> what is that from? Why is that a thing? I saw that was like a thing on Twitter and I was like, <laughs> What's happening? I'm good, Chloe. I'm really enjoying my new apartment. Uh, apartment? <laughs> uh, definitely, like, feels weird to get into doing online stuff again. And I'm hoping the audio sounds okay. That's my one thing that's been a lot of trouble for me. Uh, but other than that, I'm doing really good. And I'm happy to be playing Nancy Drew. I don't know why, but it's stuck in my brain now. Because <laughs> every time I know everyone I know says it. Theft. Okay. You mean this sort of Audio thing has happened perfect. before? Yes. That's yes. so good to hear. I Thank mean, you. No, I mean, 
I'd rather not say, but I will say this. I did not leave the stove on. That fire was not Again, my Again, I think it's carbon monoxide. Oh, what am I going to That's do? That's my, like, running without theory jewelry, right now. I don't have a prayer of paying for a new stove. And without a stove, I'll have to sell the inn. And if I lose the inn... I wish mom were still here. This is really I wish Josiah sad. Crowley had left us the money like he always said he was going to. That's what I Josiah wish. Josiah Crowley. Josiah Crowley. Our enemy in he life. Was this old man that lived next door. <laughs> he died last year. He spent most of his time here at the inn, and he led my mom and me to believe that he'd left a lot of money for us in his will. Oh, are we going to have to find he the will? Clock, and afterwards, he'd always point to it and get this little twinkle the in The will is in the say, clock. Time will tell. That has but to when be it, finally right? when he found his will... He didn't leave us a penny. The will is in the clock. I've read a mystery. Maybe <laughs> have he I didn't read this leave one you actually maybe? because he didn't have anything. Well, he didn't act like it, but he was rich. His estate was worth almost a quarter of a million dollars. And this is what nineteen thirty. To so that'd be a He's lot. This man who claims Richard to be Topham. able to help people develop their paranormal powers. Oh my God! Why are all of these characters like stereotypes of evil? <laughs> Or he left everything in his will on two of the clock. To ev <laughs> everything I own goes to the clock. I owe it all to the clock. <laughs> For an eight, people refer to White y Yagami as a sussy blocker. <laughs> Lights in the background are sucky. Thank you. I feel like they match the vibe. <laughs> I'm very excited about them. How did Josiah Crowley know Richard? Him? We hate Richard. Josiah we hate Josiah. Kind of a we can be okay with Josiah. <laughs> One time he we showed up at Josiah. my birthday party dressed as my great aunt Harriet. I didn't know it was really him until two days later. Anyway, so Josiah's probably just still alive. Hobbies, and he always thought it would be really keen to be just pretending to be someone Josiah else. Josiah invited Richard Topham to move in so Topham could help him develop his paranormal powers right there in his house. Josiah was a sweet old so man, good. and I do miss him. And he was free to give his money to whomever he wanted. But to get our There's a cat? Like that, and then leave us Wait, nothing? Wait, we have not met the cat like yet. Him. There's a cat in this game? That's exciting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if you would like, you can retweet the tweet to share. Uh, ooh, gross capitalism. Absolutely. By the way, is general swearing? Yeah, general swearing is allowed. Yeah, I'll say. you're. We'll, we'll be fine with that. I think swearing can be age appropriate. It's 13 plus, you know? <laughs> Inspector calls type thing. The cat is when... Wait! Oh my god, I'm excited about the cat! Where is Richard Topham now? What? Still lives I really Josiah's don't remember house, like any of this right game. This is so exciting. Back. His house and the inn were built at the same time by two brothers during the Civil War. Oh, there's 100% a secret passageway. <gasps> is this game gonna have like everything I've ever wanted? Was in your mother's history? jewelry insured? Gosh, I forgot about Do it, that. Well, you're the I don't one know. that stole the Jim uninsured Archer, jewelry. He's our banker. I guess I should go talk to him. Hello, Mr. Jim. Okay. Not one of your favorite people, We huh? don't like banks. Oh, no. Mr. Arch is very like nice. <laughs> I mean, for a stuffy old banker. I'm just so bad at business. Promise. Things. And Jane, my guardian, <laughs> she tries hard, but she's no good I'll at it. A promote either. future Maybe cat? Maybe you could go talk to him. Please? It would be such a big help. <laughs> Sifey, do you even want to be my mod? <laughs> sure. He runs the Main Street Bank. You can't miss it. I'll call him and tell him you're coming. Cats, I'm really, if I could only, okay, what if they did like a what does the dog die of games, but it's just, also, I appreciate everything you're doing, so I was <laughs> trying to be mean. Um, I was, but it's if a game has cats in it, because that's like, I really How just want to play games How many people kept your cats. mother's jewelry in here? I'm your hype man. No <laughs> Thank you. Well, Jane, my I guardian, appreciate. she knew, but I didn't tell anyone else. I'll be back in a little bit. Don't forget to call your father. Yes, we just, we only play ca games with cats. Okay, don't forget to call our father. Papa, it's the law. Can you pet the dog, Twitter? Yes, does this game contain a cat? Also like preferably you can pet the cat, but also like not all cats want to be pets. So I feel like that isn't, you know, a game breaking requirement. Phone? Pies! Are we, can we steal pie? Oh no, oh we got organized the pies. Okay, that's not my job yet. No one has told me to move pies around. I want a Twitter account that's just, can you pet the cat? <laughs> can I have? Yeah, there aren't enough video game cats and they are <laughs> 
Drop a nickel in the slot? Hello. Oop. I, there we go. Now, how may I be of service? Oh my god, vintage. I'd like to talk to Carson Drew. His number is KL57187. Hang on a minute. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I forgot how old Carson phones were. Hi, Dad. Well, I see you got to Titusville okay. I feel like the audio quality is so much higher than it would actually be through this phone. The car ran like a top. It ought to. That's a fine car. You treat it well. A fine car. Well. I was told that you is wanted me to call. <laughs> I need to get some documents from a colleague over there. I thought since you were in the area, you could pick them up. Save him paying postage. Sure. What's the address? He said he'd just leave them for you at the telegraph office. Sweet. Just drive into town and look for tubby, tubby telegrams. telegrams. He said you can't miss it. Beautiful. Will do. These papers are extremely important, Nancy. What if they get I stolen? I will pick them up, Dad. Good. Remember, watch your gas gauge and get gas when you're get low gas. so you don't run out. Good thing and we try to drive a Prius. <laughs> the more you hit, the likely it is you'll wind up with a flat. Yes, Dad. And if you do get a flat, take it off and put on your spare. And then head straight to a gas station and get it fixed. Yes, Dad. All right. This is like over. another layer of responsibility I wasn't prepared for. Oh. She wanted me to have you lock her mother's jewelry up in your safe. Only someone stole it before I could take it with me. The drama. Stole it? Good gosh. Good gosh. Oh, I love it. That was right after the stove Make in the like kitchen a boy exploded. Scum. Be prepared. The stove exploded? Sounds to me like you'd be well advised to cut your visit there short. No, no cut it long. We got a mystery to solve. I have to find out what's going on. Wow, Carson Drew is a hater. To? Well, yeah, you know. Emily just lost her mom, and she's worried about losing the inn, friends. and her guardian's all wet when it comes to helping out. And all and wet? the truth is, you are so <laughs> curious that you feel like you'll absolutely burst if you okay. don't find out why all these weird things have been happening, right? Yes. <laughs> don't worry, I know the Is this supposed to be one of her, like, first the mysteries, then? I get that it takes well, place in the past, like but... One other way, you should be <laughs> what? Fine. what way is that? Smart? Careful. Genshin has such cute cats and dogs. Oh, I need to play more Genshin. I like, I was so ready right when it first came out. I was like, I'm going to get so into this. And then I played for like three days and then I haven't touched it since. <laughs> I met Emily's guardian, Jane. Good guy, What does the guardian do anyway? It's based on the first Nancy Drew book. Pretty much a I didn't know it was the parent. first one. Jane That's so cute. responsible for Emily's physical and financial well-being. Jane doesn't strike me as being the parental type. In fact, I get the impression she's in way over her head. Fortunately for her, it's not forever. Most guardianships end when the ward turns 18. And then both Jane and Emily will be free to do whatever they please. Kind of same played a lot for a month. Yeah, it's just, there's just like a lot all the time happening on Twitter with it. I'm like, do people like this game or do people hate this game? <laughs> Mixed opinions. Story is different. Oh, okay. Yeah, is this the only one of the games that's like kind of based off the books? That's what I thought. You'd think Emily's mom would Maybe, have chosen yeah. somebody a little more competent to take care of her only child. Yeah, come on, Emily's Things mom. Things aren't always as they appear. Maybe she's not as bad as you think. Or maybe she's worse. Okay, Nancy doesn't like her. Guardian, so... Good grief. Where I'm going to agree with Nancy. A suspicious mind? I think it was from the person who has always told me that the best way to solve a problem is to look at all the possibilities. Yeah, Dad. this is your fault, lawyer father. I did say that, didn't I? If somebody says they're going to leave you something in their will and then doesn't, is there anything you can do about it? From Knives Not Out. Kind of, yes. Jane is our friend. So Jane was the, the willowy family. one in the, the dress. A lot of them are based on books. I didn't even know. I thought this Emily's was the only one. Josiah That's so funny. <laughs> Fake Nancy Drew fan. Going to inherit part of his estate. But when he died, his will left everything to this ESP expert ESPN named Richard expert. Topham. That's too bad, ESPN. but this curly no, fellow was free to leave whatever no, what he wanted to whomever he wanted, I'm afraid. No, what is the get, the da 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 in the game? Minds, you know. I can't remember. I can't remember the tagline for whatever that old game company was. Okay, Crowley was free to leave whoever Bye, they wanted. Dad. Okay. Take care. The twelfth game in the game series, but I don't know about the originals. Yes. Looked it up. All of them are inspired by books? Wait, really? <laughs> what? I thought... I thought most of them were like 
totally original <laughs> mysteries. Now I want to read all the books because I never was like super into the books growing up. I had some of them. Ooh, what's road? Oh, that's driving. I don't want to drive. And then this way, maybe I shouldn't explore yet. Except for four. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Even Deception Island. Wait, yeah. Unless that's one of the four elusive original mysteries. So, is Emily all right? Someone stole her mother's jewelry. What? What? <laughs> Toad's in the game. Did you happen Confirm. to see anyone go upstairs during all the commotion that the fire caused? No. You mean someone stole them Ooh, while everybody was rushing around the trying fog. to fight the That's fire? a great name. Hypers. If you can't trust a fireman, who can you trust? Very Pacific Northwest. <laughs> Are you sure no one besides you and Emily what? was in the kitchen this morning? Positive. Well, I suppose someone could have snuck in the back door. Are you saying someone caused that fire on purpose? To distract us? You said it. I'm not saying that. I'm just sad they went from the nostalgic feel to the newest. Yeah, I'm curious about what's happening with her interactive and if they're gonna keep making the games. But the old ones are so good and we have so many of them that I'm trying not to complain. They also still get so much of my money by paying for these. I read 56 Nancy Drew books growing up, but a lot of the ones are based off of outside the main series. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I want to reread all the, yeah, I feel like that would be so fun. I wonder if I can get them at my local public library. <laughs> Snick in the back. <laughs> Sifey lost hype man privileges <laughs> on VIP. I don't even know how to stop people from being VIP. It's possible, <laughs> don't you think? But I'm the only one who knows she had that I hope they make another jewel. game. Well, it's not quite I hope true. they do. When Gloria was alive, I don't know. she could have told yeah. people about it, or people may have seen her wearing it. And when she died, they knew the jewelry had to be around here somewhere, right? It Does is literally un <laughs> come to mind? Sorry, it's been Unmip. hard enough getting to know Emily, let alone anyone else in this backwater burg. Well, guess better go call the sheriff. She's a jerk. I really don't like her. So glad that Nancy Drew games are my Steam now. Yeah, I kind of want to get the physical CDs just because I feel like they'd be good background decor, which is like, can you tell I am, I love having physical things? Um, yeah, the most recent one was 2019. I first played it on my MacBook, which could barely handle playing it. Uh, it's quite quite a disappointment of a game. Um, but I just hope that they take what did work with that game and make it better. Yeah, Syphy, the, the newest one is considered to be one of the worst in the series. Um, but there's also, like, a lot of other things that were happening in the background and the fact that the game took too long and, like, lots of reasons why people aren't happy with it. I never read Nancy Drew. I was always about the, the Twins of St. Clair's. I haven't read that. I really liked Encyclopedia Brown and, oh, what was the other one? There was a girl detective who, in, like, her first mystery, there's, like, a crackdown involved. Dramatic. Um, but she likes, oh, so what was her name? Why can't I think of it? But she likes macaroni with salsa in it. That's, like, the key thing I remember. <laughs> Oh, my Nancy Drew CDs are in Russian. Wait, wait, that's so cool. I never knew they made Russian translations. Is that your car? I like the English ones via Steam. That's my reasonable, yeah. Gets so it works. Out back where nobody will see it. Okay, nice Chloe, to buy I need a... decent, but last time I checked, my last name was Willoughby, not Rockefeller. Willoughby, not Rockefeller. I really want to go snoop around my local thrift stores and just try and buy CD games because I have a CD drive now and I ordered I ordered the Mycene PC game, but it's an English version like UK, which I think should still work fine. I don't think it would be regionally locked, but we'll find out. But I'm really hoping that I can get that and get it to work and play. <laughs> Well, Twins I'll at St. Clair's is a British thing. Don't take any wooden Oh, nickels. it might be. It might be. Yeah, because I had the Hardy Brothers, uh, en Encyclopedia Brown, like Jackie Wilson books. I, I don't know that. Fingers crossed. Yes, I hope so. My computer loves to be weird all of the time. So, what is this? Hello? Oh, it's a game. A game based upon a Midsummer's Night's Dream. Do Shakespeare proud by using the arrows to move each man to the woman with whom he belongs? Remember, love is never easy. Whatever you move someone, he will keep going until he hits his article. Obstacle. Okay, I do not know a Midsummer's Night's Dream. <laughs> I want to play old PC games. I know it can be really hard to get them work out. Yeah, I need to change the version of Windows 10 I have so I can run an emulator on it, I think. 
My proudest CD possession, or a PC emulator on it at least. Outside my Nancy Drew collection are butter. Okay, Brother Bear did not work on my computer, but I tried to get it too. Shrek 2, I wanna get the uh, Hobbit game and Shrek 2. Shrek 2, the game was really good for the GameCube. So I'm assuming it would also be fun for the PC. Oh, should I just guess by what could be a key factor? Oh, uh, color. Color of uh, their little, little panel things. That guy goes in there. Um. Oh, the game is a little glitchy. That's okay. I might have messed up already. Da da da. Chroma. Let's just keep giving it a go. Let's just uh, let's just roll with it. Let's see what we can do. We're gonna um put that one there. Heterosexuality <laughs> in the game. <laughs> It's true! <laughs> okay, now how do I get you all in the right spots? When I was in fifth grade, our school did this like production um, that was uh, not 50s themed. What theme was it? Like a choir production that just- oh, it was like a, just a bunch of jukebox musical songs? Oh, that's not where I want that to go. How am I gonna get you where I need you to be? I replayed it recently. It's shorter as an adult, but still just fun. Okay, the boss fight- the final boss fight against the fairy, I remember being incredibly hard. <laughs> like, I don't think I could ever do it on my own. Um, I feel like I am missing something that's gonna make this easier for me. Where would I put you? Where are you? And I'm so sorry. Okay, oh, it's so quiet without the music. If I don't know how I want to get her to there or him to there. It doesn't matter. Anyone can be anyone. Uh, uh -huh. I guess I can just put this one in and then try and figure it out. That's not going to be the right way though. Maybe I have to do it, get the red one in first. Maybe I've gone done goof. No, I haven't. I'm a pro gamer. This is fine. We got this. We got this. Okay. I was really worried. It was gonna have to have me like memorize. Is it Puck? Puck's in a Midsummer's Night Dream. Uh, I won. Did I get anything? Wait, was that it? Did I get anything from that? <laughs> Wait, what was the point of that? <laughs> I love mini games so much okay paintings love the decor looks very cozy i'd like to go to an old inn like this and just drink my coffee in peace clever hands late last century a retired teacher named wilhelm von austin set out to prove that animals are far more intelligent than commonly believed and that they are perfectly capable of adding subtracting and even telling time provided they receive the proper education he bought a horse called hans and proceeded to teach him arithmetic as if he were a schoolboy instead of uh, using carrots instead of a hickory stick Hickory stick. Okay. To elicit the desired responses. Amazingly, within two years, Hans was able to give the answers to mathematical problems by pawing the ground. More amazingly, the horse was almost never wrong. Van Ostrin was convinced that he had indeed taught his horse arithmetic, and for years it seems to everyone who sought clever Hans in action that Von Ostrin was right. Of particular interest was the scientific community. Oh, to the scientific community was the fact that the horse was able to give the correct answer even when von Ostrung was not present, which ruled out the possibility that his master was perpetrating a hoax by giving him subtle hand movements or voice signals. But finally, a scientific scientist named Oscar, ooh, P before F, Perst, observed that Han gave the correct answer, that is, prod the ground the correct number of times, only when someone whom the horse could see knew the answer to the problem that had been posed this meant that the horse was wait the gossip oh this is so long 
<laughs> thank you, thank you, people cat. Indeed, reacting to visual cues, eventually, oh, profs prove that Han's cleverness lay not in his math skills, but in his uncanny ability to perceive tiny, involuntary body movements. Wait, isn't there a show about that? About, like, the people that use, like, facial recognition? When pawing horse reached the correct answer, the people around him would react a bit unconsciously. A slight nod of the head, a relaxing of the shoulders, a straightening of the back, all were cues to which Hans meant that it was enjoying. Oh, it was time to stop pawing and enjoy the carrot that was sure to be forthcoming. Von Ostrom, who all along had unwittingly been providing his wonder horse with the correct answers, died five years later. <laughs> Far too disillusioned and humiliated to appreciate the inevitable lesson that his misadventure in equine education had it in inadvertently taught the rest of us. Thanks to Hans, we now know that what people do without being aware that they are doing can often speak volumes. And thanks to his master, we know that if a man wants to believe that something is true badly enough, he'll often unconsciously find a way to make it true. But like Hans, the more observant we are, the more likely it is that we'll pick up on the cues that the believer is inevitably providing us with clues that cues that will ultimately allow us, like Profunks, to discern fact from fancy. Learn about clever hounds in a communications class. That's fun. <laughs> the only communications class I had was a speech class. I just had to give so many speeches in it. It's the same thing here, but it's a type of potato chip. Oh, I thought a hickory stick, like, I was thinking they were, like, giving you a bop with the hickory. That was the first thing that came to my mind. Like, not like an actual bop, but maybe it is. It does kind of sound like a smoke, smoked, like, sausage sort of thing. Wow, that's a smart horse. Okay, hobo sign language becoming widespread. I remember learning about this. I wonder if I learned about this from this book or this game. As the number of homeless men drifting from town to town looking for handouts increases with hard times, so does the use. Oh, so is this Great Depression? 1930s, I guess, yeah. Um, use of particular signs and symbols may have developed to communicate with one another. To see these hobo symbols in action, you may need to look for no, f oh, no further than your backyard. Okay, so it's just like a method of communication with symbols by people's houses. There are thieves about. Barking dog. Dangerous neighborhood. I am marking mine with there is nothing to be gained here. Get a circle tattoo on myself. <laughs> I almost got a triangle tattoo. Like, that was my dream. Freshman year of college was to get a triangle. I'm glad I didn't. But I don't know why that was such a trend that year. What was that, 2015, 2016? Triangles, man. That was the thing. We got a chair. Love it. It has curtains. Why? Why curtains? By a knot window. Ooh. Looks like I need to get the bird from one side I to the other. I love these games. Oh my god. Worst tattoos. Very true. I didn't get anything Harry Potter related. It's a triangle, my dudes. What this mirror is doing like Mice here. of Men time period. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Are you studying of Mice and Men right now, Strawberry? <laughs> okay, wait, is that a mirror? Maybe. I am not pay very much attention to what I just grabbed. <laughs> da -da -da. Ba -do -ba -do 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 -do. Okay, so we have a mirror, we have a game. One of my friends has this handbook butterfly in her hip that she got in high school and it looks like a five-year-old drew it. No! I, yeah, I have avoided getting anything hand poked it's like tempting if i had an artist friend that was offering i probably would say yes but uh they, it's just like i'm so worried it would never heal well if i did <laughs> yeah one of my old co-workers once got like four tattoos in one night dude was going at it there's a mop okay can't go in there bucket and a mop. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's, can I look at the other rooms up here? I'm guessing we're only gonna be able to go to our friend's room. So I guess nobody else is here? Hi, Ooh, Nancy. Psyche, what tattoos would you get? Oh, cause you, you don't have to get one chose by tat. Just saying though, snail tattoo <laughs> would be really cute. <laughs> <laughs> no, currently I'm studying Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Ooh, Macbeth's for and an inspector calls. I did my semen. Yes, I did have my semen in high school and Macbeth. I never did uh, Jekyll and Hyde. 
Um, it's it sounds like a really cute idea. I don't know. I feel like snails can be really cute. Whale would be cute too. Do you like more realistic? Also, same with you, Chloe, or anyone else. Like, what tattoos would you want? Is the clock in the parlor the one? Permanent Josiah body gave you? art. Yes. I don't know why he gave it to us. It's never worked, and nobody can open it to find out why. Okay, wait. The clock I got the mirror from. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. <laughs> A horseshoe. Yes. I'll be back in a Cowgirl bit. energy. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Whales rule. In the words of, uh, oh my god, I can't even remember his name. The man. Gloria, read this, and pretty soon this fellow will be your favorite poet too. Josiah. I like a bunch of different styles, but the ones I have are fairly realistic. So I, feel I know that's the hard thing with tattoos is I feel like... Like, it doesn't in some way matter at all, but at the same time, it's nice to have things kind of aesthetically mask, match. Okay, myself, when Young did eagerly frequent Doctor and Giant and had great argument about it, but evermore came out the same door where I met. What? <laughs> with them, the seed of wisdom, did I sow? And with mine, did I make it grow? This is a clue, yeah. If I went for a tattoo, I'd love to go to those minimalistic liney ones with some flower star. Oh, pretty, yeah. I, yeah, I always like ones that have like little meanings with them. Twitch is freezing again. Oh, am I doing okay? I should check in on my bitrate occasionally. <laughs> my bitrate is all over the place. Wait, is it okay for y'all? <laughs> Looking at it, it's like <laughs> Maybe that's a me thing. Oh, I need to actually go through and check my settings. Okay, good, good. If I ever get a tattoo, I want one of a black cat on a crescent. That sounds so cute. I would love to get something with the moon, something with a cat, um, something with the Colosseum, because one of my favorite songs ever is about Rome and the Colosseum. So it's, it's, it's a banger. It's my favorite. Um, flowers i like wild roses or california poppies but i don't know if i want i have my one tattoo technically has color on it but i wouldn't count it as a color tattoo because it's just one line that's colored i don't know i told my parents i wouldn't get any more piercings but i uh definitely think i will get more tattoos oh my god this is the song from blackmore manor my dog's name is luna and i have two black cats Cute strawberry. My Wi-Fi is just ah. Yeah, yeah. My Wi-Fi is crunchy upstairs. Um, I was trying to play Mario Kart earlier today on uh with Lemon. She was streaming it, and it just Hi, like Nancy. was like, no, nope, let's not. I'll be back in a little bit. No joy for you. Okay. So I have to come downstairs. Yeah, thankfully the router is literally behind me though, so. And I have that Ethernet cable, so things should be good, but... Okay, can't look at any of that. Um, I guess at this point I can explore. Let's see, do I have... I have a notebook. Let's, uh, let's check off some checks, you know? Note to self. I'm... check. I haven't done that Okay, I need to go yet. into town and I need to walk over to Crowley's old house. Okay. Okay, I think she's good. Woo! Woo! Technology can be our friend. PC can't even. I know. I had to. I had to get for my work PC one of the like little USB, uh, Wi-Fi connection things. Got a black kitty from the shelter last year. Want to get a rag doll? Rag dolls are so cute. I got it. A note. Like someone recently had a Kia praise. Um, what is it? I love Scottish folds. I love their little ears. I think they're so cute. But I, I feel. I don't know. I don't like love designer pets, especially when there's always so many friends to adopt. Um, yeah, and then you also have to travel a lot to get them or have them brought to you. They're so, they're quite expensive. All right, so keys. Love a boardwalk with things missing. Very safe. Very safe. All cats, exactly, exactly. Do they have? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's the thing with breeding is they like. They end up hurt. Oh, a miniature golf course. Swell. Swell. Uh, beautiful. Love it. Okay, wait. I want to go to the house first, and then we'll play miniature golf. I need to go, like, one step at a time. Siamese cats are cute. My fat little orphan cats are the best. Yes. Yeah, I feel like adoption is always, always number one. Um, 
Like, I get why people want and like breeds, but there are so many health issues associated with them. It can get. It's just sad. It's just sad. Over here, Miss Drew. Find the toy mouse and give it to Yuri, would you please? Yuri Otherwise, the cat? He'll just keep meowing. He hates strangers. I love him, though. That's okay. We don't have to be strangers anymore. Where is he? Uh, meow? Where are you? Yes. Oh my god, look at him. Look at this boy. What does this cat want? He looks like a villain in Toontown. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Cats are chonky. Oh, I, I'm trying to be good. I need to get in a feeding schedule with Muska. He's not like, he doesn't overeat at all, but I have a feeling if we get another cat, he'll, he'll probably eat a bit more. He's a squishy boy. He's so handsome. <laughs> One thing that I'm really happy about is we don't have as big of a cat problem here in Norway, but that means you're also highly unlikely to be able to find a certain breed at shelters. Yeah, I mean, even at shelters, it like, I, I volunteered at um, my local shelter for a while, and, like, I, I think we had a Maine Coon once, and other than that, it's pretty much all just, like, mutts. There isn't, like, it's still pretty rare to find, uh specific breed of cat but Maine Coons man those things are big this big cat handsome boys oop we're leaving <laughs> we're stealing the mouse <laughs> my liege I'm offering you a gift <laughs> this will do human <laughs> this will do I love him so much <laughs> Got one of my cats and my neighbor's cat had a litter. Cute. God, kittens are so cute. Petition for Chloe to be Yuri. Uh, 2K21. 2K21. That it just doesn't sound as good as like 2K17 did. I guess I better ask permission before I go looking around. I don't mind. It sounds like you do, though. Oh, sir. Ooh, oh. Maine Coon is my third cat, right? Tasting cats is fluffy and or look like they can ride them in the battle. Yes. Big. I How want nice big. You to drop by. <laughs> thank you. And You're thank welcome. You I will create this on change.org. I'm expecting a pupil. I'd hate for her to have to park on the road. I don't like this man either. I think I hate all the characters in this. And when I started overeating and getting a little thick. Yeah. I'm nervous about that. Because he, I was worried he would do that with the move, but he more like just chooses not to eat when he's stressed, it looks like. What did automatic flag? Uh, um, the second word in Maine Coon, uh, is his, can be used as a racial slur. Um. How did you know who I was? If one is to teach others how to develop Except and Yuri, use right? their paranormal gifts, it's only logical that what? one must possess <laughs> such gifts oneself. <laughs> Does that mean you can read minds or tell the future or what exactly? <sighs> the no, that, yeah, I mean, includes telepathy it's, or communicating it's, 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 by sending you don't know everything, right? <laughs> extrasensory perception. Auto mods or got it though. That which cannot yeah, oh yes, okay, yes, heard. yeah, we know we don't hate Yuri. Yuri is using the best part of this game so far. And objects. the pies. Okay. So he believes he can move things with his brain, which like that was my childhood dream. I I very much wanted to believe that I could do that. Jeepers, that was time travel. I was like really convinced yes. that if I like created well, the right on As I spaces my students, in my mind, rate of I would have those powers unlocked. Like Molly Moon, there's one of those books where she freezes time. God, I just like believed I could do that. I wanted to so bad. Do you have a lot of students? Oh, indeed. I take them through exercises designed to help them increase their output. He of looks like a band energy. director. He looks like my band director in high school. Session, like bow tie. I, I have an opening today. If my band director had white hair, this would be him. I, uh, yes. What I really Teach like me, to do is talk please. about Josiah Crowley. Oh, I'm afraid I'm busy, young lady. Far too busy to engage in idle conversation. Too busy for conversation, but I can teach you the art of skin. When would be a good time for me to come back? I'll be blunt, Miss Drew. I've discovered that the more time I spend with the, uh, shall we say, intellectually unendowed, the more my cerebral pulsations seem to diminish. I'm afraid I cannot He's speak so to you rude. further unless and until you prove that you are worthy. That is, 
that your brainwaves are not unacceptably inferior and thus deleterious to mine. Oh my god, he's such a jerk. This is the exact type of person I wouldn't want How to interact would I do with. That? What I have here is an exercise in logic. If you can discern the correct solution, then I'll know that conversing with you will do me no psychic harm. You may take it with you. I can both do logic puzzles and do psychic harm. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, these things are like my favorite. Um, all that wet. Right. Dolled up. What? Doll up? Am I smart or what? Okay, I thought it'd be dolled up, but I guess doll up makes sense. My friend let her eight-year-old sister watch Dang and Rob I was gonna let oh what? Yeah, no, those are not <laughs> appropriate for kids. She really woke up and said, I'm gonna make all these NPCs act like sussy pacas. Am I smart or what? That is what I say to myself every time I do something right. Am I smarter? Or it's locked. If something's act like actually if something's locked, my brain goes, it's locked. <laughs> cross cross. Uh double cross. I'm getting there. She's a pro. Uh, dry up, dry up. That looks right. Okay, that's like the same as the other one. Sarah, you're giving me like the same puzzle twice. Big cheese. Use the big cheese. Am I smart or what? I have not seen the it's locked TikTok. Wait, can you send it to me? <laughs> okay, I did it. Am I? I did it. Am I to assume that you have the correct solution to that logic problem? I'm an intellectual. I studied for the LSAT. I think I do. <laughs> I did look. logic puzzles. <laughs> this is not what they were like. <laughs> Why, you appear to have indeed found the solution. I did. Well, since you've proved yourself to be Hello, intellectually Koi. Hello, Koi. Hello. It has been a while. I've been good. I moved. Home. How what are you? you? Like are, are you here for the Nancy Drew times? <laughs> when and how did you meet Josiah Crowley? Last summer, while on my way to the university for a conference, I stopped for a bite at the Lilac Inn. Since it was crowded and I was in a hurry, I agreed to share a table with an elderly gentleman who, like me, was by himself. That seems like such a as fun way to meet people. Mr. Crowley, Just who to, like, I was and what I did, kill this man. Well, Thank you, Hazel. I will. I him a training <laughs> session like... that very afternoon and was so thrilled with his progress that he demanded I, I stay him. and teach him everything I knew. Also, hello, Hazel. How you doing? <laughs> Uh, yeah, he, this is like a, a psychic energy dude. Very, uh, I was gonna say MLM vibes, but I guess that's not quite it. Hate this guy's entire face, but I also love how his mouth goes. Wait, wait, I wanna, gotta pay attention. So it was his idea that you set up your school in his house? Oh, I know rumor has it that I somehow tricked him into oh, it's it, that so I funny. insinuated my way into his home, but I assure you that was not <laughs> the case. He's got like five mouth frames that they, they go through. <laughs> this man is kind of a bat. Okay. Okay, Koi, you can have it. <laughs> he does read like a Barbie villain. Were you surprised when you found out that Josiah had left you everything? Delighted, yes. Surprised, not, not really. really. Josiah was all alone, you see. Hi, Kelly. Like Hello. How is work? How are you doing? Are you still nice work him only at work or do you get off early today? Money. Okay, Jim Archer, people were nice only because they knew he had money. I think that's what you were doing. Josiah. I, you're not Josiah. Magic man. <laughs> That's your real name. Would it be okay if I looked around? Go right ahead. The place is more like a museum. Oh, he has a Midsummer's Night Dream. Josiah was a man of many, many interests. I'll be right here if you have any questions. Ken if Ken discovered crystals. Okay, so now we can see. Was this Josiah's shit. clock? Everything in here was Josiah's. If there was, okay, Hazel, there is a Barbie detective game and I would love to play it, but I haven't been able to get it to run on my PC. But if I can at any point, we get the Barbie Nancy Drew crossover. So we're getting out soon, good. Also, hi, Crystal, how are you doing? Did you just wake up? How late were you streaming again? I feel like I just need to check every time I wake up to see if you're still streaming ASMR. <laughs> It's so good. Okay, wait, is the Mystery Clu Cruise the PlayStation one? Maybe I should just try and make that one work. Oh. Oh, it's a matching thing, I'm assuming. 
so many mice. Uh, symbols that are this. Oh, there's like different clocks. Oh, she got it. I will scream if that happens. At like 6 a.m. I think. Ah! <laughs> so late. She powers through the stream. I'm always so impressed. That's so powerful. Hoggies. I'll scream if that happens. If we get Barbie, Nancy, Barbie Drew. I've been trying to get the other ones to work. Yeah, it sucks. I can't get them. I think I actually have to get a PC emulator running if I want to play them. Um, but yeah, I should figure out figure that one out because it looks good. I think I saw your YouTube video on it. <laughs> hey, watch it all. Watch it. Don't want to watch it because I don't want to have spoilers. Right? That's the problem. I feel like we play similar games, so I'm like, I want to watch it because I really like Chloe, but also I don't want to get spoiled. <laughs> kind of hungry but comfy. I don't want to go downstairs. You should go get a snack. Get something to munch on. Uh, cheese and crackers, perhaps, with the with the mice. <laughs> so let me know. If, I will. I absolutely will. You gotta share the secret knowledge of all the Barbie PC games that no longer run. Which makes me so sad when I can't play them. It was worth it. Yeah. The hefty streams. How close are you now, Crystal, to partner? I feel like you're so close. It's so exciting. We have aggressive ask about partnership. <laughs> it feels so weird when the game gets so quiet. I feel like s suddenly very self-conscious. It makes me feel like all the times I've had to give instructions as like when I was working with kids and it's just quiet and they're staring at me and I'm like, uh, hi. You're applying right now? Wait, that's so exciting, Crystal, congrats! <gasps> I hope you make it. I feel like you will. I feel like you got it. That's so hype. Oh my God, congratulations. It's me with having all my friends stream Resident Evil. Like, <laughs> see, I had the opposite where I was like, I'm never gonna play Resident Evil 8, so I'm gonna watch everyone play it <laughs> at once. I was like watching five or six different Resident Evil streams, basically. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for you. So I got another mirror, two mirrors. What does my reflection show? It's always Barbie games, it's Barbie game. What about, are there Polly Pocket PC games? Wait, I did not know this. I know that there were like the the desktop like web games. I know I need my Nancy Drew elevator music during my puzzles or else it like stresses me out. <laughs> 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 Sir? <laughs> On a website, okay. I do remember playing, um, the bar <laughs> for the Polly Pocket games. Is this FNAF? Yes. <laughs> okay, so that's like two Nancy games with weird robots in them. We love that. It's the best Nancy Drew trope. <laughs> oh, I want one. <laughs> uh, yeah, can we actually get a Nancy Drew FNAF collab? As you soon realized, Josiah's mental faculties were starting to go, I'm afraid. He tended to ramble. Very little of what he wrote in there makes sense. But it's the carbon monoxide poisoning. What are you when you win, Bard Bounce? What poet is the cat's meow? What will Para, my miniature golf course, get you? What's Gloria's middle name? So that's... Definitely all hints, right? That's 100% all hints. Oh, I need to be able to write these down. I should just open Notepad on my computer. Or I should just take screenshots and paste them into Paint. That's the real MLG. I love Microsoft Paint. Shout out to Microsoft for making Paint. That's the only thing, though. Um, everything else they've done is bad. <laughs> Hardy Boy Souls are <laughs> Betty Fazbear, I'm such a big fan. It's so nice to meet you. It was really fun to play a FNAF game for the first time. Um, Thursday night. There, it's good. Wait, is there more pages to this than you check? Becoder is in the ribbon. Fall down. Two to the right. Oh, so this is giving me the hints. Get new typewriter ribbon. To open journal, Becoder is in the rivet. Two to the right. Is that decoder is in the rivet? Two to the right. So sad I've been. Ah! I'm sad you could not be there. It was fun. I. I now have such stronger appreciation for anybody that plays them. Also, good night, Evil Cat Robot. It's 
sweet dreams. Um, there's, it's so hard. It takes a lot of strategy to play them. I got to night four and I gave up there. I might play on my own and see if I can get through the rest of it. Um, God, I got scared so many times. But it just like gets to a point where I'm like, I don't even know how I can be better at this because so much is happening at the same time. CC whereabouts room off tunnel by scramble picture. To open the big TikTok. TikTok? On top. Give flutes, Thursby, and bottom. Key. Okay. Sounds like numbers to me. Buy carousel horse from Sheldon. Carousel horse confirmed? It's all tying together, baby. Book. Bird jewelry? What is this? It looks like Josiah lent a trivet to someone, but I can't make out to whom. Party at tw Twin Elms. Okay. October 9th? That's two days after my birthday. Right? Yes. <laughs> Whose birthday was that? That's one of my friend's birthdays, too. October babies, man. All the Libras in the world. Stay out of there, please. So many wonderful Libras. Uh, okay, that's that corner. Horse. Books? What do you do with these? <laughs> I put them on the windshields of cars. When was I carry. born? <laughs> Great advertiser. Ever put them on cars at the Lilac Inn? All the time. I've gotten quite a few pupils that way. Ooh, Hershey's and Scooby Snacks. That sounds yummy. That's like almost a s'more. Because Hershey or the Scooby Snacks are like graham cracker, right? Okay, wait. Is there anything on this that I should know? Can I take it? No. Hmm. He's a certified. Whatever he is. Who does the certification in that? S'mores sound so good. S'mores and camping. Absolutely so fun. I love all these sounds. Oh my gosh, I want to just be in the wilderness with some fire, man. I used to hate the fire. The stage in this picture, is that Josiah? He's Puck. Yes, that's from a production of A Midsummer Night's Dream that he directed and starred. Directed and starred in. as two nights, but he didn't care. He loved that play. <laughs> Aww. Certified bruh moment. I haven't seen or read A Midsummer Night's Dream, but I know another book I really liked as a kid um, was about ballet, and the characters in it did a performance of the ballet version. <laughs> Putting physics into work. <clears throat> a radio radiometer, radiometer, mm, is a device which measures the intensity of heat and light, i.e. radiant energy. In 1873, Sir William Crookies developed a special kind of radiometer in which four square veins were mounted to two arms of a small rotor inside a clear glass bulb. Most of the air was pumped out of the bulb, resulting in a near vacuum, and the rotor was balanced on a vertical support which allowed it to turn with minimal amounts of friction. Each of these veins was black on one side, silver on the other. Should I remember all of this? Um, it's a sound effect in the game. There's a cat in the game. Muska? I actually don't know if he's in here. He might be in here. He might be under the bed. Um, he's either in here or upstairs. Oh, it looked like that. Okay. The veins revolved when exposed to light, always spinning as if the light were pushing on the black surface, making it appear to crooks that the light was applying pressure to the dark veins. But this ex explanation for the radiometer effect was soon called into question, since dark veins absorb light and shiny surfaces reflect it. Light should actually apply more pressure to the shiny surface of the vein, which meant the shiny surface should appear to be pushed by the light. Since this was not the case, some other principle had to be at work. Another theory proposed that because the black surface absorbed radiant energy, rare for gas on the backside of the vein would heat up and eventually apply enough pressure on the vein to make it spin. But the fact that the warmer gas simply expands and flows around the surface instead of pushing it dispels this widely held, oh my gosh, this is so much, <laughs> widely held yet erroneous explanation for the radometer effect. A more likely explanation involves thermal trans transpiration or the flow of cooler gas molecules toward warmer molecules which causes the cooler gas on the shiny side of the vein to pass around the edges toward the warm black side which results counterintuitively in the vein moving away from the warmer gas toward the cooler gas the radiometer is sometimes referred to as a light mill because the light is used to turn the veins much in the way that water is used to turn a mill wheel that's what you think depends on what you do with it the light first pea brain what 
It is doubtful, however, that the movement of the veins can be put to such practical use. Okay. So there's gonna be a puzzle with light, and you have to do something with the light first. Apparently? Now what? Okay. Have you ever made par on the golf course? You just got my back? beloved the boy. Young lady, I've Play never set that. foot on that golf course, let alone made whatever par is. Would you happen to know what Gloria Crandall's middle name is? Looks like we got a golf. I haven't the foggiest. Magic school bus. Ooh, I want to. Nice talking to you. I want to play I the magic school bus games. <laughs> a little psychic humor. He is such a butt. I knew you were gonna say that. I knew you were gonna say that. Ooh, up before us. Yeah, there are a couple of different ones. <laughs> Mishka, Mishka, Mickey Mouse. Um, yeah, I remember I specifically had one where you like went to a safari and you could identify different types of scat. That's like <laughs> what's really strongly in my brain. Ooh, okay. We gotta spell something. Can I spell Mary? No. Worst game of the year, apparently. That's fun. Oh, hi, Zoomer. Hello, I hope you're doing well, too. I'm glad that Bebo got their eye back. Though Pirate Bebo would have been very good. <laughs> God, yeah, I like the, the old, um, whatever. What is it called? Magic School Bus Games? Brain is zooming. Okay. The object of the game is to figure out the sequence of the colored- Oh, it's Mastermind! We got this. Do I need to play this? I guess it doesn't matter. Let's play Mastermind, everybody. This is the game I used to always play with my sister when we went on family vacations. So two are correct? I don't know if it shows me... Or it might be right color, wrong location. I didn't read the instructions. Oh, okay. So I'm assuming flag is right color, wrong location, or right color, right location. And without the flag is right color, wrong location. Yeah, it's a it's like a board game with little plastic pieces. Um, I played a lot of it. Good, had my first recital for voice lessons. Wait, that's so exciting, Zoomer, congrats. Voice lessons would be so cool. I'm thinking about uh, asking one of my friends um, is a vocal teacher and I'm like considering asking her if she'd teach me voice things. <laughs> How does Zinga do it with my sister? That's awesome, do you do the lessons together? That is so cool. I miss doing music stuff so much. It's so fun. Wow, okay. I, uh... What did I change? It's... Okay, so the blue one is the right spot. Right location. Green one just isn't involved, I think. Um... Purple? I'm gonna assume purple is in. I'm gonna go with purple red and orange yeah she's a gamer mm, <laughs> we each have separate lessons but they're back to back for very convenient oh smart yes my mom used to do that with her dentist appointments growing up different i need to make a dentist appointment now that i moved down here i forgot oh, okay the moon in the sky was once heard to say, it's high time I saw this thing known as day. So the moon checked its clock and it rose with the sun and before too long it realized what it had done. It's far too bright here, I've made some mistake. What heat, what havoc the sun can create. I want to go back so when dusk came again, the moon rose when it should and said, ah, tis seven. I love this. Thank you. Thank you, Zoomer. I'm really happy with, with the vibe. Okay, so this is one, two, four, two, eight, two, seven, right? I'm gonna also get a screen grab of that just in case. Just in case I don't stand, I'm not gonna memorize it. I'm not taking notes, so. <laughs> ah, I like puzzles like this. I like puzzles where I can immediately guess what it's asking me. Always feels good. Okay. 
Uh, so to play, we need to insert 10 cents. Oh, sweet. Let's let's play some golf. Oh, sweet. Thank you, Koi. Thank you. I should really just grab a notepad. I don't want to. This is so cool. Imagine if like a mini golf course actually did all this. So this game's so good. Exactly. I just, I love a game, you know, making me feel good about myself. I do know what Eurovision is, Zoomer. I have, I've only listened to one of the songs from this year, but I really like one of the songs from years ago. What is it called? I posted it in the Discord forever ago. Um, okay, make par for the course, win a prize. Par is just like doing average, right? I don't know who the winner is. I'll have to look it up. Play golf? How do I... How do I play? Oh! Oh god. I hit it accidentally. Oh no. Now I'll never make par. I gotta get used to this. I'm obsessed with the winner, which was Italy. Is Italy the one that was doing doing the drugs? <laughs> they did a really good rock song. Ooh, okay. I'll have to actually listen to it. Mini golf. When do we get to play a Mickey golf? S M H. Ooh, okay. I'm doing good, I'm doing good, I'm doing par. I'll send it to the Discord. Thank you, Zoomer. Um, don't quite, see, it's the silence again. Why? Sand trap, let's try and brute force our way through. I hit it too hard. Nancy, no we didn't. <laughs> Muska golf win. He's a little soccer player. He has a little foam soccer ball that he'll like throw up in the air for himself and bat at. It's so cute. I have a video I should post this somewhere. Ooh, that's a that's a loud plane. Uh, God, I wish I could train my cat to play golf. That's how you get the big the big money on Twitch.tv. Do which one is the actual hole? Oh, not that one. I'm not gonna get par now, am I? Oh god. Oh no, I'm, I am still. I am. Oh, so. He is such a sweetheart. I'm so glad he's in my life. Cats for everyone, is what I say. They absolutely increase, like, increase my quality of life. Yeah! No. Yeah, okay. This is like easier than I thought it would be. Knock off my aunt trained her cat to use the toilet. I've heard of that. I've always been tempted um, to try and do something like that, but I just, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided what the long term, like, pros versus cons of that would be. No. If this is what keeps me from getting par, I'm gonna be so sad. <sighs> and you're not even gonna give me music to lose to. Wow. I hit it too hard. No, you didn't, Nancy. There's two parts? Why? Two par? There we go. Hard. Oh, I still got par. I, st I got chorus par. Elon Muska. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I like, I don't get how people could want to live without pets. Like, in every way, I feel like they improve quality of life. <laughs> so, though, so I live closer to my parents, so I've been visiting them more, and I had dinner at my parents' house. And my dad, he's like a big science guy, big nerd, likes Elon Musk, but likes Elon Musk in the way where he, like, doesn't interact or see anything that Elon posts on Twitter or like for the most part does online other than like his association with Tesla. So we definitely got in a fight about Elon Musk. <laughs> Cause I am not a fan at all, so.
But like, not like a dramatic fight, just like a... I want ravioli! That's a red horse! Wait, is that summoning Muska? Okay, let's see if I can find him. Ravioli sounds so good. I have not 